I am insane with anger. As far as threats go, that's probably not the one to yell out when you think an intruder is attempting to break into your house. Yet that's the best the Mel Gibson character could come up with on the spur of the moment in the movie Signs. Not surprising, though, since he was playing the character of a mild-mannered priest. It brought a chuckle in an otherwise white-knuckle movie. Nor is it surprising, since it reflects our current culture, one that sees anger as an evil emotion, a form of insanity that must never be unleashed, except when unleashed in raw violence against culturally appropriate targets. In other words, the arbiters of righteous anger willingly use it as an effective weapon against others for their own gain. By the way, this sword cuts both ways, so don't assume I'm pointing this rhetorical sword at them, whoever the them may be. I could be pointing it at myself and you. Today's Saturdays in the Psalms on Morning Minutes in the Bible turns to a Psalm of David, which recognizes the only truly righteous anger that comes from God. Psalm 6 begins with, Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. While we don't know the specific situation he's in, this psalm shows David is fully aware that his troubles are from an angry God. The King James Version says, O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. Which explains his statement in verse 2. Reading from the New King James Version this time, Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me for my bones are troubled. Here he describes himself as weak, meaning his health was failing and his bones were troubled, which meant he shook in terror. Notice that David didn't argue with God by saying, it's not fair. No, David knew it was righteous judgment from a righteously angry God, which is why he merely asked for mercy. Verse one was a request for relief from God's righteous anger. Don't punish me. Verse 2 was a plea for mercy and healing. David knew the Lord was gracious and merciful, even in his anger. How do you see God? Have you believed one of the twin lies that God is either an angry old tyrant waiting to smack us down, or a gentle, merciful old grandfather who only threatens with a meaningless, I am insane with anger statement? God is neither, and David knew it. God is rightfully angry at us for our sin, but merciful enough to forgive. Why else would Jesus go to the cross? Like David, we need to be afraid of God's anger, afraid enough to throw ourselves at his feet and beg for mercy. Thank you for watching today, Saturdays in the Psalms on Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.